Hi everyone, welcome back to our new video on Microbit. In this video, I will demonstrate connecting ultrasonic sensor to Microbit. So this is the ultrasonic sensor module which I am going to use, HCSR04. So this is a 4 pin module, VCC and ground for the supply. It requires 5 volt, then trigger and echo. So this can be used to detect a range of 2 cm to 4 meter. So there is a transmitter, this is the transmitter and this is the receiver. The transmitter sends the burst of uh, pulses at this frequency as shown here. So this will transmit and the transmitted waves will be reflected back from the object and received at the receiver as echo. The distance will be calculated based on the time it takes and this formula can be used. For programming the micro bit, I will be using make code editor and this is the project page. You need to create a new project and so this is the project page. You have set up categories here. Each category has set up blocks. To work with ultrasonic sensor, you need a block called sonar. If you don't find it here, so then you can search under extensions and then you can add it. So in my case, it is already here. So this category has a block called sonar. So there is a trigger, echo and the distance in terms of units. It may be microsecond or centimeter, etc. I need a forever block so that entire program will be executed continuously. So this block is required, I just take it to my project page. I need to create a variable for storing the distance measured by the ultrasonic sensor module. So you can click variables, make a variable. I will give the name as distance. I need to set the distance to a variable called as distance and this distance is based on the measurement. The ultrasonic sensor module will measure the distance and that will be stored in a variable called as distance. For the trigger I will be using P0 pin of micro bit. For echo I will use P1 and I need a distance in centimeter not in microseconds. When I execute the program, the sensor module will measure the distance between the module and the object and that will be stored in distance variable in centimeters. Once it is stored in a variable called distance, I need to compare this with the threshold value. So let us say 5 centimeter. The first I need an if statement. So that you will find under logic. I need a comparison statement that also you will find under logic. So I need to compare the distance with a known threshold value, let us say 5 cm. So I will go to variables, distance, then if it is less than or equal to let us say 5 cm, I need to activate a beep sound. So I need to go to music category. Let me just pick the ringtone and set a high note, high B. And also, if uh, distance is less than or equal to 5 cm, then I will activate this ringtone. And along with that, I will also display an icon. So let's say I'll display this icon. Else, if the distance is more than 5 cm, in that case I will just display the distance. Let me show the distance on the LED panel of microbit board. So show number distance. So this is my program and before each execution I can have a delay of let us say 100 microseconds. So I will go to basic category, then pick this pause 
then I can add it here. So this is going to be my program. If you have to analyze it, once the distance is measured by the ultrasonic sensor module, that will be stored in a variable called distance. Then it is, it is compared with 5 cm using an if statement. If it is true, then I will activate the ringtone. And also I will show an icon on LED panel of microbit. If the distance is more than 5 cm, then I will just display the distance on the LED display panel. Now, in addition to that, whenever we activate a music, even for a false condition, it will be, you know, it will run on the background. So, in order to remove that, we need to stop all the sounds for the false case. So, I will add this stop all sounds. So, this is my program. Once the program is complete, then I can download it to microbit board. Let us look at the connections now. This is the microbit version 2 board, which comes with built-in speaker and microphone. And this is connected to Key Studio sensor shield. So this is the sensor shield I have. And these are the pins of microbit. So you have P0, P1, P2, etc. I'm going to use P0 and P1 for my project. Pin 0 will be connected to trigger pin and pin 1 will be connected to echo pin of ultrasonic sensor module. So this is the, here is the sensor module and this is the 4 pin ultrasonic sensor HCSR04. Now this ultrasonic sensor requires 5 volt and that 5 volt can be given from the sensor shield. So here there is a jumper. And this uh, jumper can be used to select either 3.3 volt or 5 volt supply. So you can get two different power supplies. One is V2 from this side and V1 from this side. And you can change this voltage to 3.3 volt or 5 volt by changing the position of the jumper. Now this board can be powered using two ways. So one is a normal uh, USB cable and the second one you can use an external battery or any voltage between 7 to 9 volt can be given here through this jack. So this is my connection. There are four wires which are going from sensor shield to ultrasonic sensor. Red and black for the supply so V2 is selected and similarly white and yellow for trigger and echo pin white wire is connected from p0 to trigger pin and yellow wire is connected from p1 to echo pin the program has been already downloaded to microbit board using this usb cable i'll use 9 volt battery to power this sensor shield so let me connect the 9 volt battery to the jack so i have an object here now the distance between the object and the sensor module is more than 5 cm. So you can see that the microbit display displays the distance in centimeters. So which is more than 5 cm. Now as I bring this close to the sensor module when the distance is less than 5 cm you can see that the distance is reducing now it is 7 cm and 6 and you can see that this displays the this icon x icon at the same time it also activates the beep sound and as i increase the distance you can see that again it stops the beep and it displays the distance in centimeters